I want to make this create a quick video just to spread a little tiny bit of insignificant knowledge. Michelle Obama gets a lot of flack for what she says and how she dresses. I just want to pull back the curtain a little bit to tell you that entire family is dressed by other people, is told what to say and how to say it. The whole first family is an institution. And for people who don't know and understand what that means, that literally means it's like a position on a commercial. You are told what to say, when to say it, how to look, what kind of makeup to wear. And they dress you, and they do your makeup, and they do your hair, and you're coached on your speeches, and you're coached on what to say. You're told where to walk, when to do it. Everything Obama does is staged. Everything Michelle Obama does is staged. That family has absolutely no free will, no choice. Anytime that you hear Obama said XYZ, you can rest assured that Barack Obama didn't say XYZ. Barack Obama was told to say XYZ. Michelle Obama didn't say XYZ. Michelle Obama was told to say XYZ. And the little girls, the daughters, and where they go to school, and who's their driver, who's their guard. Now, if you want to get mad, let's get mad at the real people. Now, I'm pretty sure Michelle Obama, on her own, probably dresses like a very powerful woman, and probably dresses like a very powerful lady. And I'm sure she actually doesn't talk black, if you know what I mean. And I'm sure, given the choice, that Obama doesn't talk black, if you know what I mean. Now, if you want a real revolution, I want you to rip the curtain down and have a word with the people behind it. If you really want to get something done, I keep telling you these things and you all just don't get... You want to kill the messenger. Obama's the messenger. I'm not even talking about me. I'm talking about Obama. Michelle Obama, messenger. They have no free will. You think the presidency is left up to chance? I don't believe the presidency has been left up to chance since about 1910. How's that? And, it, and, and they kicked it into overdrive once they got television and radio in at the White House. The presidency is now a tool of mass re-education of the American population. Oh, they're having a, a cum fest up in there. A black man that can speak, speak politely, masterfully. Oh, they're just, they're bathing in orgies. They're bathing in the blood of little boys. Oh, they're just having so much fun. And the Democrats, and what's funny is the Democratic politicians are distancing themselves from Obama in, in this uh, primary or the, or the elections coming up. It's not Barack Obama. He's an idiot. He's a stone cold idiot. He has no clue, no experience. He has absolutely no idea what he's doing. Michelle, Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama has an idea what she's doing, but she is incapable and powerless to stop anything. Rip down that curtain, get at those people behind the curtain. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Rip down the curtain. The guy doing the shuffling all the wheels and pumping all the grinds and gears and stuff and doing the whistles and, and pumping the, the buttons to show the show the gas and the lightning. That's that's who you need to get to. Some people would say it's a, a Jewish cabal or the Fed. I think it's somebody even more sinister. You know that the quote unquote Jewish cabal or the Jewish whatever is actually controlled by even richer people. I don't think the Rothschilds are the richest family on the planet. There are white people, and I keep hinting at this, and you all deny it, there are white people that you've never even heard of. You've never even seen. Just like I say, it's hard for me, I don't know if you know, uh, if you uh, follow my Facebook, the information is down in the information box. There are black people you have never seen who have been rich from the beginning of the country. Kind of like my family. You know that Warren Buffett has a niece who came out to speak out against the greed and the corruption and stuff of Wall Street. And he sent her a letter saying, stop it or you will be disassociated from the family. She's on a trust fund. His entire, his entire family, entire. I'm not talking about 
his son, I'm talking about his entire family, is on a trust fund. Everybody. They don't live life like we do. There are black families who have been here from the beginning, completely free, no history of slavery, anything like that. Now, white people don't want to hear about this. And they have been rich. It seems like all of the families that were free and black were rich from the beginning because America was very easy to get rich in. That is why it was created. People could come over here, get free land, free whatever, stake however much land they wanted, work it and become rich. And it was because of taxes that you ended up with poor people and middle class. We weren't middle class. The United States was not middle class. Middle class means that there's something that people aren't doing. What do you what do you say when you what do you hear about when you hear somebody is rich? Oh, that's the guy that did this. Oh, that's the guy that did that. Everybody in America did that. Nobody had jobs. A job was considered slavery. Did you just hear me? A job was considered slavery. That includes white people. I don't know if you put two and two together there. A job was considered slavery. And because you were a paid slave, you didn't end up being rich. You ended up being middle class. And to stop you from becoming rich, they instituted a whole bunch of taxes, which is what we actually fought against, right? I just said everybody was rich. And when the king saw that everybody was rich, he started instituting taxes and more taxes and more taxes and more taxes because he was bankrupt. Everybody wants to love, put all sorts of love on England. They were bankrupt, broke, kind of like me. I have a name, I have a reputation, but I'm practically broke for all intents and purposes for any meaningful word of the term money i'm broke but the presidency is an institution that family has nothing rip down the curtain and get at the people behind the curtain you want freedom you want real freedom you really want to do away with racism you want to move forward you want to run through the fields with me holding my hand singing kumbaya and we're all equal you need to rip down that curtain and get at those people all of your taxes all of your taxes registration for this not the other you have to register your car it's your car you bought it what business is that of anybody else's they're literally taking money from you because you bought something that you use in some states they charge taxes for you buying food that you're gonna eat you're uh, literally about to eat the food that is a necessity of life now wh why why is that something amazing because you can tax people out of eating that is monstrous. That is monstrous. That's worse than Hitler. That is worse than Hitler, Mussolini, the Emperor of Japan, the King of England, Napoleon, all wrapped up in one. Apartheid South Africa, all wrapped up in one. That is more monstrous than all of that. And you people put up with it. Rip down the curtain. Thank you for watching the Shikam Live Show.